Hello everyone and welcome to another Thanos video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Casino Wizards in Timeless Format. So last video, uh, there was an opponent that was casting some Invert Polarity and I was incredibly upset opponent winning those coin flips. So I'm going to be checking out this deck with three copies of Invert Polarity, which is essentially a counter spell but if you win the coin flip you can steal that spell and cast it for yourself which is kind of cool and compared to the jeskai version we're not playing the tamio and instead we're playing sleep cursed fairy the reason being is if you cut the sleep cursed fairies for tamio in this deck how do you win the game you only have two copies of snapcaster mage and two copies of tishana's tidebinder and two copies of subtlety so because of that i felt like I wanted to play a little bit more Delver style deck with the Sleep Curse Fairy. And because this card is incredibly hard to get rid of, it's going to enable our Flame Bobanor at all times. So, hence to that, I'm going to be hopping over to some Timeless Special 3 to show you guys how the deck does. So, let's hop on over. Um, I have a land. I do have a land. I have another land. I think I'm gonna bottom Snapcaster and a Lightning Bolt. Because I think this is like, um, Beanstalk or something. So we did get to a third land, which is good. Beanstalk does come down, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Nice. Sleep Curse Fairy is actually really nice here. Lorian revealed. I could have also just uh, Tishana's Tidebinder this, but eh, I don't think it's too necessary. Yeah, I I think um, play here is just draw more lands. Spell Snare. Uh, that does get rid of a uh, Beanstalk, but I'm not really interested in that. So I'll mana drain this into an Uro, sure. I'm gonna grab Mystic Sanctuary, Lodian Revealed. Untap. If they want to get rid of a Sleep Curse Fairy, that's fine. It's 
It's not the end of the world. Get a mana drain back. Now they can technically play out their uh, Uro here. Okay, we need to win this flip. Coin flip, let's go! No, we're so bad at this game! I can't believe it. How are we so bad at this game? We were so close there. We were so close. Yeah, I'm just letting that go. Come on. We have to win the coin flip. Let's go! Oh my god, I'm so unlucky. Ha we lost the 50-50 twice! We're so unlucky. We are so unlucky. Okay, we have a chance of winning here. We do have a chance of winning here. Balance that. That is, if we draw into um, a Snapcaster Mage, we have a chance of winning. Come on. I think we have to fire this uh, Lightning Bolt out. This is a close game, isn't it? We haven't drawn into a single Snapcaster Mage. And we've drawn 30 cards. Kind of a yikes situation here. We already used both of our Mystic Sanctuary. Come on. Nice. We did it. We did it. I don't suppose, like, they can gain, like, life instant speed, right? Okay, um, Harbinger of Seas, again, kind of bad in this matchup. Um, counter spells in, Hearse in. Is Hearse even good? Is Hearse even good? I feel like Spell Pierce is bad, too. Most of their spells are creatures. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Subtlety is really good against their deck. How are we so unlucky? We didn't even get... We couldn't even get it. We lost the 50-50. Oh yeah, Gal, I think this charge is probably not very good. I'm gonna try this. Hmm. I'm not sure if this uh, hand was keepable, but I see an invert polarity. That's what we're trying to do, so I decided to keep it.
It's a good land. If we can have one more turn, we're good. Give us one more turn, okay? Opponent pieces out. I'm so sad that we lost that 50 50 though. Going first, okay. Boo, it's an Omnitel. Or not? I think it could still be an Omnitel. Malevolent Storm. I mean, it's... Not gonna get better than the spell snaring here. I need more counter spells. If they show and tell, I actually have to lose the 50 50. My god. Oh my god, where's my counter spell? Okay, we got a spell pierce. That's not the worst. Maybe it's a Snapcaster Mage beatdown. Hey, there it is. We can Labyrinth. Devour of Destiny, they have 5 mana, so they can't even play around my Skull Pierce now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Give it to me. I am so unlucky! I... I've lost 3 50-50s already in the session? What is this nonsense? Oh my god. This game is really testing my patience here. I don't think I want any of these. My god. Okay, don't fail me. Don't fail me! Okay, if I lose my 50-50 here again, I'm about to be upset. Don't do this to me. I need this 50-50. Oh my god. Oh, the evoke still kills it. Oh... Okay, um, I don't know why I did that then. Well, now I know. One time I, I won my 50-50. I don't even get it. I don't even get it. Oh my god. Give me the one ring. Oh, hello. Easy game.
There is a surprising lack of um counter spells on my side though. I must say. Yeah, I must say there is surprising lack of counter spells on my side. Okay. Okay, uh... <laughs> so, things I've learned. This doesn't actually... Even if you steal an evoke creature because opponent evoked, it still gets sacrificed. Yeah, that's not good. I'm not sure if I should be playing a Harbinger in this matchup. I mean, Surgical for sure. That's a lot of spells. Tishana seems decent as well. I think Subtlety sucks. Galvanic Discharge... Probably not very good. Sleep Curse Fairy is a good... Maybe I'm supposed to actually take out a copy of a Flame of a Noor. Maybe even a copy of a Lightning Bolt. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a lot of invert polarities. They got rid of a Fae of Wish. They got rid of a Force of Vigor. Wait, Force of Vigor? What is a Force of Vigor for? Defense Grid. That's a strong card. That is a strong card. Um, so the card that I'm kind of looking for here is, I guess... Let me see. I have to do this now, right? I'm looking for a Flame of Anor. I did cite a copy of a Flame of Anor out though. Which isn't good. I think opponent saw defense grid and just kind of kept it. Okay, there's another one. Beat down. Nice, we found a flame of Anor. That's very good. Yeah, so I think because my opponent, like, what happened there? So they saw a defense grid and they just kept it. But they should have kept a land at the very least. Yikes. Should I keep this one? I can play Sleep Curse Fairy, leap up a Spell Snare for turn 2, or Galvanic Discharge. I think this is actually keepable, even though it's just the one land. And we're also on a draw. No way? Again? Uh... 
again. Wait, my opponent didn't play a land. Huh? They made the same mistake that I did. Hey, I, th I don't think I'm going to be cracking the Scalding Torn just so that I can increase my chance in drawing a land, even though it's so minuscule. I hope nothing bad happens here. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Okay, so they're going to grab an island. Okay. No. Why? Feels bad. Okay. Uh Snapcaster Mage Counter Spells License Hers Extractor Subtlety Out. Galvanic Discharge out, Fluster Storm, another Lightning Bolt out. I think that's how I will go about this. Actually, Disruptor Flute is actually nice against the uh, Show and Tell as well. I don't like sideboarding out this many Lightning Bolt, but what can you do? I swear. Harbinger of Seas is a bad card. I I don't know. I feel like Harbinger of the Seas is a bad card. Wow, they got rid of two shifting woodlands. Yeah, we're just passing. Mana drain here would be great. Malevolent rumble. I think I'm actually going to um, counter this. Because I, I want to play my unlicensed first here. Okay, exile that. Artifact. They have a lot of sorcery. Let's start getting rid of a land. I don't think I can actually do anything here. So, from my mana drain, I've learned that they don't have a Veil of Summer last turn. Land Sorcery. I think one more Unlicensed Hearse trigger. I'm going to start attacking with this.
creature out, artifact out. They have like instant speed something. It must be like a seed of hope or a veil of summer. I think I think opponent has a veil of summer. I believe that sink. Oh, it could be a seed of hope as well. I believe um, Veil of Summer can't hit Sync because this is not a counter spell. <clears throat> okay, so they, they don't have a Veil of Summer at all. Okay, let's do that again. Let us do that again. I think my cyborg was perfect. Hmm. I think uh, this might have been a little bit of a fishy keep, but if we can find a um a counter spell with the brainstorm, I think this one's fine. Kind of hoping that we do find one though. I don't. I don't want to just lose here. Ooh, that's really bad. That is super bad. Well. If you have it, you have it. If you have it, you have it. It's not a good sign. That's a good card. Uh, Flame of Anor is a good card. I mean... My opponent didn't play... I think I'm just willing to take the damage here. I'll lose the life here. So this happens on... At the beginning of her end step. Huh. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Do I have to give them a card? No matter what? It seems. Because I have to play this Tishana this turn. But if I don't play Tishana here, uh, they could not activate the One Ring. Then that's bad for me. I also have to give them a card. Man, oh man. We're bluffing quite hard here, isn't it? We are bluffing quite hard here. Interesting. Getting a land. So how does this work? Like, can I flame a Banor in response to the Palantir trigger? Would they still draw a card? Okay, they went, they tapped out.
defense grid. Treasure cruise. So even with the defense grid, I can still play mana drain. Difficult game. Really not even playing a single card. Like at least play out the defense grid. I'm surprised by that. I mean, they must have a plan, right? They must have a plan. Next turn we win, so... I mean, they have to have something here. I don't care about the defense grid. I just need to get rid of the show and tell. So they're gonna play their defense grid. They went for another one ring. Yep, there is that defense grid. If they show and tell... Oh no. Okay, thank god. They don't have omniscience there. I think this is our only Lightning Bolt. So unless we draw Snapcaster Mage, we can't win here. But that doesn't work because this... The Palantir happens at the end of the turn. At the start of the end of the turn. We still do not have a counter spell. What is this nonsense? Depressing. Depressing. Devour of Destiny. Mana drain this. Okay, I think we won. A uh, very weird game because we weren't able to draw into like any of our counter spells early. Like we just started finding some. Like I believe this mana drain was our first counter spell. Except for the um Oh yeah. Actually, I'm right. This was actually my first counter spell. We just found a uh, one copy of a, ca a counter spell and a uh, sink into stupor. So, and we also haven't found our invert polarity. Yeah, <laughs> this game is kind of messed up. Okay, a bit of a roping here. My turn, please. And GG's. Giganta and gonna keep this one. Alrighty. Give me a land and I'll be happy. Ragavan turn one. Ooh. I 
guess give them a mana drain. Yikes. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Boom. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I think we, we have to kill both of these. I think we do. Six cars already, so we can even cast Treasure Cruise. Another Ragavan. Oh, baby! Now that is a card that I'm talking about. That is a card. The Aggro Killer. Okay, my opponent topped it, which is kind of scary. Hmm, what to do? Give them a fable? But I give them a turn with the Ragavan? I, I think, uh, I think we let this pass. I think it's a Flame of a Nord turn. Okay, another Flame of Honor? I'll take that. I really want to treasure Cruise for a land, but I don't think I can. Because we want at least, like, one of these for Snapcaster Mage. Amped Raptor. Ooh, they found the land, so they can technically kill it now. Put the steam vent on top. No problem. Thank you, Ragavan. I need to exile five. Nice. Very nice. Tishana here would have been great. Let's actually use a Snapcaster Mage to set up a Flame of Anor. This is why Galvanic Discharge is so good. Like, so unbelievably good. Okay... I guess we're gonna start attacking. We are the aggressor now.
I think this game is over. Yeah, I do think this game is over. What? Oh my god. I thought the Altawara was just an island. Oh my god. That was dumb. Okay, let's have some Harbinger of Seas and Brotherhood end. Um, Stern Scoldings in instead of a Spell Pierce. I think uh, in this matchup, I think Invert Polarity is like a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Probably have to cut all of them. It's so fun though. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna cut two. Because of the fun factor. I think Tashana can go probably. I'll cut a Sleep Cursed Fairy. Like two of them. Okay, we got two lands. This is the hard part where opponent is going first, but we do have a Brotherhood's End. We found a land, actually. That's really, really good. That is really good. There's a part of me, like, saying, like, we should greet it with the Brotherhood's End, but I think we're going to be taking too much damage. More important than family. Maybe that was greedy, not mana draining there. Wow, not playing Ragaman out first. That sucks, actually. I, I got severely punished for not shocking that in. But we do have uh, artifact removals in the deck, so... That's a good card. Oh, what a... That's really good. Wow. I got severely punished for not playing this. Like, not shocking that in. Wowee, that was so bad. I don't think I can take damage. Kind of hope they like play a creature, attack with the Guide of Souls, and then pump it. That's four damage. So I'm going to be taking 6 damage here. Ooh, subtlety. Subtlety. I 
think we take the two. Then we play Subtlety. And then puts it on top. But gets rid of it. Really? That's alarming. Okay, so... They can only play white spells now if I play this. I think that's worth it. Yeah, I think that's worth it because most of their spells that are like super dangerous. Okay, Static Prison, that has to go. Invert polarity. It's not a uh, flame of anore, though. I'm waiting for a flame of anore. Arbinger of Seas actually doing something? Okay, I should probably keep hold on to these in case of a brainstorm draw. Okay, the more we draw, the better better it is. The more we draw, the better it is. Okay, brainstorm. There it is. Flame of Anor. What a beauty. Let's invert polarity. Give it to me. I'm so unlucky. I've only won 150 50 this entire session. How am I so unlucky? This makes no sense. I am so unlucky. What is this? How did I only win 150-50? Okay, so I went through some bit of an experiment with this deck. Um, also learned a couple things with the deck as well. Invert Polarity. I'm really not a fan of this card because it's like we're playing Magic, but you know, like it's 50% chance to do something stupid. Like I'm, I'm not here to play like something like Hearthstone, right? Not a huge fan of cards like these, but I saw my opponent using it. So I was like, why not? Let's give it a shot, right? I will say it's really good against like decks with a lot of Planeswalkers, One Ring, which are the decks that we kind of saw today. But before I kind of fine tune this deck, um, where I was like experimenting with a lot of different cards, I did lose a lot because we just had way too many like three drops in the day. I decided to go up on more lands as a result. So now we're playing 19 lands with two copies of Sink into Stupor. So that's 21 copies of lands plus two copies of lore and revealed. So that's kind of like 23 and we have four copies of brainstorm. So and after I made this change, the deck felt a lot better. Uh, one thing I'll say about Sleep Curse Fairy, um, I was kind of hedging on whether or not I should play this one instead of the Tamiyo. But I, I felt like because compared to the Jeskai version that deck that I played, if I put a Tamiyo here, how are we going to win? Right? We have two copies of Tashana, two copies of Snapcaster Mage, and that's it. Just Guy, on the other hand, you have a Lodge to get you there. So I felt like I, I had to play Sleep Press Fairy instead of a Tamiyo. Like, short Tamiyo is really synergistic in this deck, but I think the Sleep Press Fairy here is the correct choice because it's really hard to get rid of. 
it turns on Flame of Anor. It's kind of like a Delver in a sense. It just kind of looms around. If you draw into counter spells, even better. Yeah, I think the Sleep Curse Fairy is a lot better than Tamio in this case. Um, either that, you can just cut all these together and play like four copies of Snapcaster Mage, four copies of Tishana's Tidebinder. That's also an option as well. And Galvanic Discharge. Just an awesome, awesome spell. You can use this early to get a little bit more energy. And then you can even use it late. It's going to be able to get rid of bigger creatures or even planeswalkers. I felt like the Izzet version has always kind of lacked another option besides a lightning bolt. The Unholy Heat is nice. Don't get me wrong. The Unholy Heat is nice. But because we play Snapcaster Mage, um, because we play cards like Treasure Cruise and Mystic Sanctuary, uh, sometimes like... It's really hard to turn on the Delirium, and it also requires you to play some other card types such as enchantments or artifacts. Galvanic Discharge, literally no downside. It's just insane. And two copies of Sink the Stupor, super sweet card by the way, because it's a land. And it also gets through Veil of Summer because Veil of Summer says spells you control can't be countered this turn. This one just bounces it back, which is cool. And besides that, there were a lot of show and tells today, like disgusting amount. I initially didn't have Surgical at first, but having lost a bunch of games to show and tell um, before fine tuning the deck, I decided to add some Surgicals. So now you can counter into a Surgical. It's good. And we got two copies of Harbinger of the Seas. So Harbinger of the Seas, I think this car is not very good at the moment. So the reason why I say that is because um, as long as opponent fetches one basic, that can get rid of a Harbinger of Seas. This card is just an overcosted 2-2. Two, two. Unless you can like protect it somehow. You have a counter spell as a backup when you cast a Harbinger of Seas. And opponent, you have to pray that opponent doesn't have multiple copies of removal spells. And the fact that it's really bad into evoke creatures like i feel like a harbinger of seas despite this being a wizard is significantly worse than just having like two copies of blood moon in the sideboard i feel like so i'm not sure um the card is okay but if you also experience the same things that i do where the harbinger kind of feels lackluster i think you can definitely side this out for some blood moons as well so yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.